still living. Even my pops too, he taught me how to shoot when I was seven. I used to bust shots crazy. I couldn't even look because the loud sound used to scare me. I love my pops for that. I love my nigga, he black. I take the life of anybody trying to change who's left. And through all of that, a nigga ain't scared to death. All y'all brand new niggas just scared to death. I spent too many nights sniffing coke and right. Wasting my life. Now I'm trying to make things right. Ran over some gates, invest in the rag business. Do things for the kids. Build a jungle gym behind the crib so they can enjoy you. CBRs and VCRs, ATVs and big screen TVs. Nigga, please, don't make me have to risk my freedom. We worked our whole life for this. You get your shit beaten. What is happening, everybody? Welcome back. I feel like we've been gone for a long time, but it, it really hasn't been. I guess it's been uh, maybe four or five days. I hope everybody enjoyed their holiday, Easter. I hope all is well. I pray all is well. I hope everybody's safe and sound. We got a double headed tonight. Um, I know we'll have people joining us as we go. So why not uh, slow the train down? Let's get it going. Let me bring to the stage my right hand man and our fight doctor at the desk, Mr. Timmy Irish, aka Gil Clancy. What's happening, Gil? How are you, my brother? Good, Craig. How are you, buddy? I am good. Um, we're going to start off with um, Joe Town Jacks, uh, Davey T. I'm going to welcome everybody in a second, but we're going to start off with a fight Joe Town Jack has been asking for for a while. So I remember this. I don't remember it. I do. As we watch, I'm sure it's going to bring back a lot. Um, you have anything? We're going to start off with Holyfield, Hollyfield. Evander, the real deal, versus your trivia question, Dwight Muhammad Quawi, a.k.a. the old Dwight Braxton. You have any memories of this fight without giving too much away for whoever hasn't seen it? Yeah, it was um, it was a great fight. Um, it's funny thing. Last week in the chat, somebody said that it was a cruiserweight fight. And I was like, wait a minute, 84... He comes out of Olympics Holyfield in 80. I think this fight is 86. Yes, I but believe I so. Think, I think back in 81 or 82, I remember the fight. I don't remember the year exactly. But I remember uh, Kwai taking the belt from uh, Matthew Saad Muhammad. The Muhammad. Light belt. But uh, I thought it was because of the time frame that he was a pro Holyfield. And this fight took place. I thought it was a light heavyweight fight, but uh, the guy was right. Uh, Holyfield, I didn't notice, but uh, I assumed it. Holyfield, you know, he was an amateur. He won the gold at light heavy. And uh, he come in, he fought two fights at 175 pounds. And this, this division had just started. I think this started in 82, the beginning of 82, the cruiserweight division. Cruiserweight. Yeah, okay. so anyway, it turns out uh, when they first started it for a couple of months, they called it the Junior Heavyweight Championship, and then it switched to uh, Cruiserweight, 195-pound limit. But uh, the guy was right. It is a, a Cruiserweight Championship. All right. Um, why we don't have um, too many people in here, Let's let me just read the chat, and let's get on with it. You know what I mean? Let's just get on with it. We got two to do. Um, it's fun for us. We enjoy it. I just uh, want to thank everybody always for their um, patience, staying with us. As we grow, we got some, you know, I never promised, but when I tell you we got some big things coming, we got some big things coming and soon. Um, and we're going to grow. And this channel is going to grow. And without you guys, it never grows. So. We're going to owe it all to you. At the uh, end of that trail leading up to that, I just want the people to see if they didn't really see it. We had 50,000 views, which, you know, to the big, we don't worry about anybody else. We worry about us. Um, 50,000 views at the beginning of March, towards the end of March. It really doesn't reflect the actual number. We had 70,000. So we're really at somewhere near close to 80,000 views in about a, oh, a little over 28 days, but let's uh, let's get on with it. Um, 
I just want to uh, say hello, Timmy. Thank you for coming in, of course, and helping me out and being our fight doctor at the desk. Matty boy, what's happening? Joe Town Jack, your fight. You asked for it. You got it, Nick. Always a pleasure. So much go on, goes on, Nick. Appreciate your friendship and loyalty. Thank you. Uh, Maureen, pleasure to always see you. I mean what I say. You know that. Davey T, my man from day one. Pretty much everybody's been from day one. Stood by our side. Let's go. Let's rock and roll. We expect other people to pop in. Um, you know, I know Roy, Stevie Marinello, of course, Stevie. You do what you got to do, my brother. I know you pop in and out, and I know you always catch the replays. You always leave great comments. Thank you. Um, if I could say one thing, you'll see it on the ticker. If we could just um, – we're closing in on 500. Um, our, goal, our goal is – you know, from day one, if we had one, we're going to talk to them. Now we're closing in on 500. It gets real. So we got to up our game. We're going to up the game. We're going to give you a better product. If we could like, sub, comment, share videos with people that you think are like-minded, that like to hear whatever it is that we do on this show. Take in mind how our community is. You know, you can tell them straight out. We don't platform certain things. And um, that's it. And let's, without that, let's rock and roll. Let's get right into this fight. Thank you for everybody being here. And um, let's get right to it. Um, I know this is going to start right away. Unfortunately, we're not going to have to. Roy, what's happening? Pleasure to see you all the way from across. I know it's late over there. Thank you for coming in. Let's enjoy this first one. We're going to get right into it. This was the best one I could find. Let's go. Now let's take a look at the tail of the tape, a decade difference between the two. The weight pretty much the same. He's only advantage. 23 years old. With that comes a reach advantage of almost six inches. So ahead, live on Wide World of Sports, the 15-round junior heavyweight fight for Cowie's World Boxing Association title. Stay with us. We're coming back. In just Everybody can see it. Good. Matt, I invited 14 friends tonight. Good. Even if they don't come in, Matty, share the video with them. I'm finding out comments, sharing, the chat. It all helps. You know what? Let's go. Let's enjoy this. Here we go. To go 15 for the 1986, I was a baby in man's clothing back then, Timmy. I was 26. I was 19. I was a real punk. <laughs> Where's my boy? Chatting with Stacks, my man. Thank you, Billy. Love you, bud. You know that. I got something I'm going to say, Billy, after you probably will be gone, but I'm going to say something. Um, if any, Billy, if you know how to drop your link, drop it, brother. I'm bad with it. You know that. You'll teach me someday. I know you will. If anybody knows how to drop Billy's link, whether Billy drops it himself, please drop Billy's link. That's my man. Always will be. Cinnamon Girl was uh, at the airport. I told her she has unlimited vacation days and sick days, Timmy. Right or wrong? <laughs> yes, she's a nice lady. Very nice. The hoppy. Evander must use that jab to try to pierce that defensive shell. And he's doing that very well right now. Hard left off the forehead of Cowie. So difficult to penetrate his defenses. But right now, grimacing. Francis, welcome in, Francis. Always great. Great to see you, Francis. You got it, Billy. 100%, brother. If you know how to drop your link, Billy, drop it. I'm, I'm terrible with it. Oh, good. You got it. All right, great. Awesome. Thank you, brother. Bay Watcher, thank you for coming in, brother. Got some good stuff we're going to talk about afterwards. You got my word. I tell you to stick around. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to talk about a lot of things. Nick, I hope all is well. I hope the time the real deal is doing okay. I got to reach out. Yeah, good answer. Yeah, Matty, we keep that on the wraps. I got something I'm going to say afterwards.
Got a... All right, there we go. Always bear watching. Thank you, brother. We got loyal soldiers here, Stacks. They with you too, brother. We're watching the WBA Junior Heavyweight Championship out between Cowie and Holyfield, and it's off to a great start. We'll be back. My man Jimmy D, I know you're watching at home. You see? All right, you know what? I'm going to slow that down. I'm sorry. All right, after this round, I'll slow it down. I see. You see what they did there, Timmy? What I said, sometimes you never know. They go right to it. Yeah. So we're going to let it play through about four rounds in. I'll stop it. And so just keep track of what we got. Try to keep track. Every three rounds, I'll stop it for a second. We'll talk about it. Try to get up to date with the scoring because it looks like there's going to be no breaks on this one. And I had – it's hard to predict. He throws it from all angles. Throws it overhand. Throws it uppercut with it. There's a Vander moving side to side. I just remember him being a freaking relentless. But that is not where Vander wants to be. He's right on the inside. He's too close to Cowie. He should be at longer range. You I tell you, Vanda, underrated in my book. When I say underrated as far as like fan favorites, I love the Vanda Holyfield. I really love the Vanda Holyfield. Everything about him. From his face to the way he carried it into the cage, into the ring cage. Into the ring. Never disrespected opponents, I don't remember. Just just fought. You know, he was a man. He wasn't into that crap talking, you know? Yeah, it stacks. He's huge, right? He's dirty fighter. Who, Vanda? <laughs> he always got he always got to wreck my night. Why? He, he is. He chose out uh -oh. huh? That's why he got his ear bit off. Oh, you're sticking up for Tyson? Is that what you're doing? No. No. That's no why I love you, Timmy. I'm not Call a it fan the way of Tyson. Tyson. Yeah, yep. Makes two of us. I'm just stating the fact. That's holy field. Is your That's world. what you're here for. That's why you get paid the big money. You know? Timmy, that's why you get paid the big money. It's not beneath him to uh, headbutt you or hit you with a forearm. You know what? Maybe that's why I liked him. I don't know. <laughs> no, I liked him for something. <laughs> the old timers used to say, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. You ain't trying. That's right. Good quality. Yep. Members fight with Riddick Ball. Oh, yeah. we get to that one too, Roy. Straight right hand. That was his guy. Nicky Boy, how are you, pal? Love you. Yeah, I think so, Francis. Craig, didn't he spend time in the can, Kwai? Who's that, um, uh, Timmy? Kwai. Didn't he spend time in whose camp? No, in the can. Oh, yeah, I think he was away, yes. Because he knew that light heavyweight fighter. Remember from Rawway, James Scott? Yeah. He knew him personally. So I, he did time I with him. He, when he was younger, he was in trouble. J maybe Jimmy D could give us some light on uh, Rollway stuff. Because for all we know, his dad might have been away with them guys around that time. You know? I, I, I didn't know his father was a fighter. Yeah, I put that in. Well, a Golden Glove, I think he uh, went to the finals in Jersey. But he was a yeah, fighter, a boxer. Yeah. I respect fighters from every level. I know that. You saw I had to sneak my boy Freddie in. You know I had to do that. I had to do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Freddie, if you're watching, we got your back, bud. He, he was a throwback, Freddie, the way he fought. Never stopped throwing punches. Freddie told me. And, you know, he was really very humble. I told you that. Freddie told me. Me told him one day. Long after, I believe Otoro was gone already. And uh, he told him, he said, you were us before we were us. 
you know, meaning that they didn't get, you know what I mean? Yeah. Him and Virgilio Tor had wars in the gym. Yes. That never made it, that never got on the air. <laughs> this is some fight. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And he, he's slipping them. Joe Town Jack, I need my headgear. Here we go. He's only in round three and he's using so much energy. Exactly right. The point I was trying to make before that flurry. If he has any doubts about his standing up. Wow, that's a great story, Roy. Love you, bud. DBT, hope all is well, my brother. After this round, we're going to stop it, get caught up on the points. Yeah, wow. Look at Kwawe come. What? A short of Joe Frazier just keeps coming. Maybe you don't get hit as much, but just slips, comes, slips, comes. Anything you see similar to me a little bit? Yeah. Better right hand, obviously. Yeah. Oh, he can, he can punch with both hands quite. He, he yeah, that's punch. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Frazier you know? Look at the van. You got to respect him. I know, you, you know, he wasn't maybe a cup of tea uh, to, per se to me. Oh, of but course. Holy Field was a great fighter. Great, great champion, yeah. Absolutely. Got a lot of class, Holy Field. Yeah. With elbows. Cowie not blocking as many as I thought he might. Low blow by Cowie and then a low blow in retaliation by Holy Field. Francis, how are you, Francis? I hope your Easter was well. But he's learned that you have to fend for yourself. You can't wait for the referee to deduct points. Roy. I'm coming to Dublin. I'm bringing Timmy Irish with me. Might start drinking again. <laughs> me too. They don't want that. I don't know if they'll let us out. <laughs> I left half my youth in an Irish pub. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to share some. Uh, I we'll see, we'll see. Who knows? I wake up. What I what I share tomorrow? But tomorrow we'll share some. Uh, I've been told I don't say the name enough. So tomorrow I'll share some stories of my time on record with the Lucchese family. Lucchese family. Lucchese family. Fucking <laughs> okay, clouds. All right, here we go. I gave All right, I'm taking that off. Hold on. Timmy. Yeah. I know it's it's hard because they moved it along so fast, this, this yeah. particular copy. What do you have after three? I know it was tough. It was going fast. Yeah. What, yeah. what do you got after three? Two rounds to one, Holyfield. Okay, um, I'm, I'm. I got to be honest with you. As I'm reading and talking, I really wasn't scoring. I'm watching, you know, and trying to go back and forth here. Timmy's got a two-one in the chat. If anybody's got it similar, the same, or whatever you have, let us know in the chat, and we're going to go get started again right away. This is the best way to do it because they're moving this fight along real quick. This copy, so. Here we go, round four. And they're at it already. William, what's up, my brother? How are you? Good to see you, William, in Brooklyn. Good to see you, man. Joe Town Jack has it the same as you, Timmy. Two to one. Absolutely. Thank you for coming aboard, my brother. I think you like what we do. The only award we want is the no bullshit award. That's the only award we care about. The no bullshit award. That's right. Keep that and a hundred and a hundred percent respect award. That's all we care about. Welcome, William. No need for the nonsense, brother. You'll have more natural laughs and fun here. Trust me. They watch him, my man. These guys are throwing, bro. Imagine this fight was on ABC, Y World of Sports. Imagine today you pay what? $89.99? I don't even know what they pay. 
it was a great time. The eighties were great because uh, one week you had Channel Two and then Channel Seven had it, and it was good. This was probably part of of uh, wide world of sports. Yeah, that's what it says. Yeah. Man, these rounds seem to be flying. Oh, sorry to hear that, my brother. Sorry to hear that. Well, you got us, pal. If there's any consolation, you're here with us. I missed you guys this weekend. Trust me, I was getting tempted to do some crazy shit. But uh, I actually needed the time to take care of some stuff and uh, family. And uh, we're good now. Re-energized and ready to roll. A little bit busy all week. Big things coming, I'm promising you. I'm a man of my word. You'll see. For what we do. You know, for what we do. Wow. A couple of blows that look this was so great about the internet. You know, Timmy, we could go back and get these fights. Yep. I think I might have. I don't know if I paid for that, but I stopped paying for fights long ago. Um, anybody wants to call me? Uh, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, I just stopped paying for them. Timmy, while we have a little break in the action, what'd you have that round? Holy field. It's a tough fight to score. We continue live on ABC's Wide World of Sports with the WBA World Junior Heavyweight Championship out between Dwight Muhammad Kawi, the shorter man, trying to score one for shorter people here at only five foot seven, and Evander Holyfield. This bout has been fought at tremendous pace. And another warning to keep the punches up from Vinny Raynon, the referee. That, I believe, is the third time that he has received words. Moss, if you come across this from MMA Holes, just want to say I'm sorry. I tried to tell you that last night about you losing one of your community uh, guys. Sorry to hear about his loss. Untimely. All our prayers go out to uh, him and his family. Dwight has taken punches, uh, taking a lot of shots from Vander, especially right hands on that eye, and there is swelling. Cowie stopping his feet at Holyfield, and perhaps a little taunt. Yeah, exactly, Roy. It is a strategy which he would not reveal to Alex Waller yesterday in an interview that we had with him. It must have been a. Where, where was this fight? Uh, what do you think he tries to do? With I read that? it in the. Uh, well, we, we talked no idea. Uh, Joe Town Jack said he lost 15 pounds, Holyfield, leading up to this. Take advantage of his inexperience. And make him get reckless. Due to the heat. Make him do things he doesn't want to do. Right now, Vander's just backing all over the ring. He just doesn't have the strength right now to resist White or to make Atlanta. That's, isn't that his hometown? Uh, no, wait, I don't know if that's Holyfield's hometown. Is it? He's from Georgia. I know that. Yeah. Side to side, not stand in front of him right like this. Atlanta, Georgia. That's right. And let the right hand go. Stay away from Dwight's right hand. Past the midway point of round five. Definitely, Dave T. Oh. There, he looked a little bit fresher there, Al, in the closing seconds of the round. He planted himself and let his hands go. And momentarily stopped Cowie. 
Alex, these are all new experiences right now for Holyfield. He's never been in a position like this. As round five comes to an end. Aye. What you got there, Timmy? I gave that round to uh, Dwight Quay. Okay, so what do you got it after five, if you don't mind me asking? I got it uh, three rounds to two, Holyfield. Okay, if you guys don't mind, hit the like button, share, comment. It helps. Thank you. You know I don't do this stuff, but it helps out. Thank you. Three two Holyfield Roy says. Yeah, me too. Same. Yep, that's what we got. Yep. One of the controversies in the fifth round was yet another low blow from Cowie. Let's take a look. Yes, Blue Dubas always worked Holyfield corner as far as I know, right? No, he ran across the ring. There was some confusion in the Holyfield corner. He didn't have his mouthpiece in. Blue Duva had all those Olympic guys, I believe. Meldrick Taylor, he had a bunch of them. He was the manager, Lou Duva. Yeah. This is unusual indeed. This is round six, scheduled to go 15. Absolutely. Started this fight very fast, won the first round in convincing and impressive fashion. But the rounds have gotten closer and closer since then. I thought four was very close, even though I gave it to Holyfield. I gave five to Cowie, the first round I gave him. But he has all the momentum his way right now. Alex, don't you think that more punches from Holyfield have gotten in beyond the defenses of Cowie in this fight than the tapes that we watched together? We got 10 people watching, we should have 10 likes. Just when you were talking about it, Cowie got underneath almost every punch in Holyfield and came back and landed punches of his own. You just have to watch twice. David T, we got Papa Chubby in the house watching. I know you know him, so I know you love, you know like his music. So my cousin is watching. He'll I'll announce some stuff after. He's watching in the weeds. Again, no movement from Holyfield. None whatsoever. Standing right there. Not using the jab. Not doing all the things that were laid out for him to do by Georgie Benton and Lou Duva. And the main reason is he just isn't strong enough. He doesn't have the energy right now to execute. For Holyfield, the boxing gloves aren't weapons right now. They're like lead weights. His punches causing little harm to Cowie. Again, we must point out that Dwight is not fresh either. But he has been in this territory. This is not you know, something new for him. He's been in tough fights. He's been in wars. Evander never has. Right from Holyfield, spun the head of Cowie. We're approaching the half minute mark. Everything in close. As long as Cowie keeps his his head on Evander's chest, Evander can't use his reach advantage. He can't really score with power. He just smothered in there. When this round is over, Evander Holyfield will move into an area of boxing he has only experienced before. That area beyond the sixth round. Setting Holyfield back against the ropes, but he snaps off and keeps Cowie on us. This one is moving along at a great pace. He snaps off. This junior heavyweight title fight in Atlanta between Dwight Muhammad Cowie and Evander Holyfield is moving into round seven. Now we're really going to get to see what kind of shape Evander Holyfield is in. At the end of round seven, the two fighters fought well past the bell for about five or six seconds, and then they heard the bell and stopped the bidding right on. The referee still hadn't heard the bell. Cousin Ted, if you listen, Papa Chubb. 
Dave T from Boston says, Papa, awesome stuff, bud. Been listening and watching your music for a long time, just like my partner Nick. Nikki from Niagara, who's got all your stuff. Maddie, we went to your last show. A lot of my people know your stuff, buddy. Love your music, love your guitar work. You're well liked, cuz. You're well liked. Maybe the night you come on, cuz you could teach me how to play the guitar. <laughs> so, Timmy could laugh. <laughs> I could play a musical instrument. Could you? I could play the slide trombone. Beautiful. Maybe my cousin's got a spot for you in the band. I learned it in public school. All right, maybe he doesn't have a spot for you. <laughs> I tell you one thing, you don't have a spot for me. <laughs> it isn't the institution, it's the student. There you go, my brother. Yeah, Craig, I played the kazoo. You know it. Oh, yeah, Roy? That's awesome. Well, tough instrument. Who was it? My man from uh, Marshall. Not my. Um, oh, man. Junior told me. And he made me listen to him. Badass. One of the old groups. Uh, nasty with the flute. Uh, we'll get into this. I'll tell you in a second. Um. Oh man, they might have been Irish or Scottish band too old school. In the corner of Holyfield, you may hear Luke Rubin screaming, hit the target, hit the target. Yeah, that target is that left shoulder that he's talking about. We just talked about I'll think of his name. Damn, he's a legend. Open the opponent up. There he went after it again. It's a war. Another war. Death Row Tall. Thank you. That little pip must have jumped in. Matt, you knew what I was talking about. Boy, that guy got down on that flute. Ian Anderson, that's right. Jungle in the jungle. Yep. Great group. We got a war on our hand. Oh, what a right hand. Holy field. All right, right after this round, we're going to slow it down again because of their flying through we'll, we'll go one more round we'll discuss and we'll continue it osada good evening my brother good evening hope all is well hope your easter was well your family's well thank you for coming in as usual thank you osada cheat comes in he's supposed to bring some food yeah man osada we need some we need some goodies bro <laughs> as long as you're here bro thank you Give us the address. We'll order some stuff, bro. Wherever we gotta go, we get it. We do have. We'll, we'll, you know, do the right thing. Send it your way. That's awesome. It's amazing. So many people ask me. I'll tell you after the round. I don't want people to get mad at me. Cinnamon girl got caught up at uh, the airport traveling. Osada, drop your link, brother. Thank you, Osada. Drop your link, but I'm terrible at it. So, you got a link, drop it, brother. No, he just keeps coming, bro. I know he's smaller. He Remind me so much of Joe Frazier, but with both two hands. Rather than just one. You know what I'm saying to me? Like a little bit. Just a little bit. You should have seen how small he looked when he fought. Wow. 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 You got it, Osada. If you got a link, brother, you still got your show. Drop it, brother. Drop your link. I'm bad. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> it's embarrassing, right? I definitely got your email now. 
Definitely. Right now, I mean, you hit me and I'll hit you. I'll flurry, you flurry. It really depends upon stamina. Good body shot by Cowie. As these two try to chip away and chip away at the stamina of each other. Holyfield at the age of 23. Cowie at 33. Nicky the Greek, we have Papa Chubby in the house. He's well. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll let them know uh, that we have a bunch of guys. That's all. We spoke. This is, we spoke already. We'll talk about it. Um, I believe it's hard to obtain that total physique even later on in life. Maybe not so much here, but look, I'm going to pause this right here. All right, Timmy, what do you got going into nine? I got the fight even. You got a dead even fight, right? Yeah. Anybody yeah. in the chat want to share with that? They got an even fight or you have it whatever way? Because here we go. We're going into round nine. I'll fight guy. I'll fight doctor. Gil Clancy, Timmy Irish has it what, even. What is he asking if, if, if he used steroids? Yeah, he's saying, do I think he was a clean fighter? And uh, it's hard to make accusations without knowing. But I will say this. A certain, I'll talk about it after the fight. Okay. Not that I'm an expert. I'm not an expert. I'll say some things. Whatever I feel. I've never been one to have hair on my tongue, so I'll say what I have to say. He's, no, he's never been accused of using steroids. Right? I, I don't I don't remember that, but I think he's just asking body type. I think maybe that's where the question's coming from. Right here he's very thin. If, if I would think anything it would have been later in his career, maybe. You know. But some guys just carry muscle different than others. He's probably Genetics. About, uh, what, two hundred pounds there. Yeah, he's like right? Roy's got it even. Like, yep. Remember, Bo Jackson said he only did push ups. So. Wow, Quali's landing. In between these wow, we is landing. 189, Joe Town Jack said that Holyfield weighed in for this fight. Wow. Yeah. About 12 people in here. We have 12 likes. Let's get 12 likes. That's all we're asking for. 12 comments. Good, better, and different. Not at all. You're right. I truly believe, too, they only popped whoever they wanted to pop. Another story for another day. It's always a sacrificial lamb, but I don't want to get into that. But I will after. And me and Timmy won't speak for a day or two. I mean, 15 rounds is long enough without having longer rounds. Well, I really hope that it doesn't lead to one fighter uh, dropping his hands when he hears the bell, the other fighter not hearing it and landing a shot that could turn the fight around after the bell. Still got to throw the combinations and have a chin and throw the punches. I don't care what you're taking. But we'll talk about it. You want. The battle for the second win continues. Wow, right. Wait, look at shit. After the 11th, I'll slow it down and we'll get into the later rounds. This is a this is a war. I mean, they, they haven't stopped. Talk about a pace, right, Timmy? Tremendous shape, both guys. Both guys. And like Joe Town Jackson with the heat in the ring, the lights, forget about it. You've got to be in optimum. Three 
conditioning. Where's my man Nikki the Greek? Where's my man Nikki? Nikki, if you're still in the house, tell me what you see here, Nikki. In the early field corners, mopping it up, but he went down just to finish the uh, the golf report. If they do not resume today, they'll finish the third round tomorrow morning, and then the fourth round, hopefully, if weather permitting, tomorrow afternoon. And you can see that exclusively on ABC Sports. We're in the tenth round. Two good body shots above the belt there by Dwight. Alex, what types of things that have happened so far in this? That one by Holyfield got in with authority. Well, Dwight has, has done what we expected to do. He's come straight in. I'm a little bit surprised that Evander has been able to hang in there as well as he did. Around round five, round four and five, he tired a little bit, but he's come back and very much in the play. We'd like to alert our stations along the line that at the end of this round, we'll be taking a station break. Just about a minute remaining in the round. Right here, both fighters are taking time off there. They're leaning on each other. It's a matter of who ends the rest. Right end of that where he continues the round. He scores well. With a good left and another left that got in. Cowie's gloves dropping down low than remember in the fight now he explodes back to send holyfield on his heels right now Cowie's a little bit tired oh man non-stop very very heavily unreal they're has a tremendous heart two guys that don't want it two guys that want it bad Shout out to my man Ray Longo with it go this weekend Ray between Matt and Dennis Bazooka great job UFC card this week. Great job. Ray, if you come across it, shout out. Dennis and Chris, great job. After this round, yeah, definitely, Nick. Definitely. Good to see you, Nick. Always a pleasure, brother. You know that. Belongs to Cowie at the age of 33. <laughs> That's good stuff, Roy. That's right, Maureen. You know it. Maureen knows her stuff. That's for sure. We have a well-versed crew here. So it's awesome. Maxim Golovkin. Thank you for sharing that, Roy. This this fight is, boy, 19 years old. Remember like this. With the toughness the Jimmy D, always a pleasure to see you, my friend. Juice was with Holyfield, all right. I'm sure you'll find it, Jimmy. We got every other picture. Good to see you, Jimmy. Always a pleasure to have you. When, when you know, when you, you know, you're not being paid to perform with us on Friday nights. Thanks for coming in, pal. What a off fight. He can't expend all his energy because as we've seen time and again, Cowie will rally just as Wow, they just in the pocket, man. They're in the phone bowl, Timmy. Yeah. I'm looking for Holyfield's elbows. Here they come. Guys, if anybody you know likes boxing, there's a thing. Just share it with them. You know, you never know. Maybe they get to want to be part of our community, friends group. You never know. It helps us out as we close in on 500. The Holyfield corner again complaining about low blows. Thank you, Roy. Thank you, Roy. Thank you, Bay. Means a lot, man. For real. Thank you. We got 14 watching. 
Maybe we get 14 likes. It helps out. 14 shares. A couple new subs. It always helps. So we all grow as a community, friends. Keep it, keep it that way. The amazing thing we get, we grow to be a decent sized channel, and the chat remains the same, the same amount of respect. That'll never change. That'll never change. You want drama? You go somewhere else. All right, Timmy, I'm gonna, I gotta, I gotta do this. I can't believe how quick they move this shit. All right, Timmy, talk to me, man. We're going into twelve. What do you got? Um, Absolutely, so guys. Six five Holyfield. Six five Holyfield. We got Timmy's got six five Holyfield. You guys, uh, no drama. That's what we about. Anybody got? Everybody got it the way our uh, fight doctor here's got it. Six five Holyfield. You got it close. All right, here we go. We're going into round twelve. Our guy at the desk has it 6-5, Holyfield, going into 12. Joe Town, same way. Here we go. Roy, same way. Thank you, Osada. And Osada, if you're not to drop your link, do it. I'm sure he's going to read that, Nick. He, he, I'll, I'll tell you after we're done tonight. Uh, we've got a lot to talk about with different guests going to be uh, here and here. As you know, Nick. Timmy. Well-rounded. That's what we all admit. Well-rounded. Osada, drop your link, buddy. I don't know how to freaking do it. Imagine. Papa Chubb, if I knew how to drop your link, I'd drop yours. I don't know how to do it. Not that you need me to, but I would. I just don't know how to do it. Appreciate all the kind words, fellas. That's my um, ladies. That's uh, my cousin, my father's sister's son. We all kind of grew up together in the same building. Yeah, you'll hear it from him someday, real soon. Maybe we'll get him to play a couple of tunes for us. For you guys. He's that kind of guy. He does that for his, his, father, his group all the time. For the past couple of days, we've had a chance to follow the fortunes of the Atlanta Braves. All the fans here, and we are too looking forward to the Midsummer Classic. Right on Santa. What a freaking! This is. I don't think he was hurt. I just think he took a good stiff jab, and he just went back in the ropes, just from fatigue more than the punch. Good strong punch from Kawhi. He is not used to jabs for that much because he's been happy to get in tight where he can't get hurt. Twelfth round, winding down. After this, I'll take it down again. We'll after this round, we'll we'll go over it again. Wow, wow, look at this. Wow. Now let's see if history repeats itself again. Will Cowie come lunging back in Holyfield? 
Thank you, Sada. Man, now he's coming back. Look at this shit. Matt, I'll tell you, Baywatcher, we went to see him last week, a couple weeks ago. Um, I said, come on, let's go check my cousin out. He was in town. He just got back from Europe. If you guys were closer, I took everybody. He's that kind of guy. He just never forgot where he came from and never gave up on playing. Kind of like these guys in the ring. Let's just keep going. Yeah, he's crazy. Enjoy. I hope you have some good. Uh, although I'm the Apollo, and I told you that. Um, you get some good food. I'm sure you know better than me. Incredible. This is incredible. You hit me, I'll hit you. I, I, you know, when Joe Town Jack, I knew when he said put this fight on, I knew it was a war, kind of like Timmy, if you said put a fight on. You know, the, you know, the group that comes in here to watch fights, they, everybody knows their shit. They know good fights. And Tyson Vander into letting his hands go and trying to get some counter punching opportunities. But he took some punishment. Gotta see that uh, Matthew Saad Muhammad, uh, Marvin Johnson fight. Before he was Matthew Saad Muhammad, I want you to tell me afterwards, did he have a different last name? I do. Re I thought he did. Did he? Was it just Matthew Saad? Matt Franklin. Matt Franklin. Great job. I would have forgot that. If had you asked me that the other night, I would have blew it. But you didn't. He was found as an infant on... Uh, Matthew Street and Franklin Avenue in Philadelphia by a church. That's crazy. We got a Franklin Avenue in Flushing. And then, um, let me ask you a question, Timmy. Yeah. What do you have right now going into 13? Four, where are we going to 13 or 14? 14. 14. What do you got? 7 6 Holyfield. 7 6 Holyfield. You guys got it similar? Hey, Paisan, get some olives, right? A little mo fresh mozzarella. Some bread. You know what you got to get, Roy. I, you know better than me. I'm American uh, of Italian descent. You know better than me. So Just don't pick Matt, up and – go they, ahead. No, Talk to me. I'm not. They named Matt Franklin after the two yeah. streets he was found on. Nobody mm. knows his real name. Got you. Well, great story. Great fighter. I thought uh, – I also, I remember Michael second to none. I don't know why I think of him every time I hear that. He just got out of prison last year. Yeah. The, uh, and a lot of talent. Here we go. Round 14. We got uh, basically Holyfield and a very close one. Left jab. Missed the left. There you saw. And the uppercut. And right hands and a lift behind it. Some <laughs> Matt gets some gobble goal. <laughs> That's all Matty knows how to say. Gobble goal. That's like me telling you, go get a piece of Irish soda bread. And gobble goal. Gobble goal. It's funny because... Double goal, double goal. Everybody says it's different. <laughs> I'm 
Matt, you're destroying every, everything to do with Italian food. There you go, Timmy. Tell him. Tell him, Timmy. You got to teach him that Irishman. Please, Timmy. I'm getting disgusted listening to this. <laughs> and it's cannoli, not cannoli. Look at, look at what Matt said. Look at this. <laughs> I love fried <laughs> I love you, Maddie. You know that. This this is fourteen rounds of non-stop craziness. Yes, energy. Holyfield's eyes have that fire. Yeah, you can see he now knows that the stamina is not a problem. He is officially a professional fighter. He can go these 14 yeah, rounds. He can go the 15 rounds. And trust me, that was a tremendous question in his mind. He may not admit it, but until you've done it, you don't know you can do it. Looking sharp, Timmy, Francis says. Looking sharp, Timmy. Oh, he's right blocked by Holyfield. Still the pursuit. It's a different pronunciation in the Italian neighborhood. Everybody says it a little different, right? Well, I mean, like they say. Yeah, Calabrese say different than Nolan. Oh, we need some manicotti. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know what she was talking about. I said, manicotti. What are you talking about? Yeah. Ricotta. Oh, run the other way. I would have got hit with a rolling pin that I said that was. <laughs> what a fight! What a fight! It's really just been the same thing, Al. Since about Timmy would definitely hold his own, absolutely, no doubt. The younger man being the business upstate Italians are funny. Showing unbelievable courage and determination. Fourteen great rounds of boxing. The fifteenth is up next, live in Atlanta. What do you got We're going into fifteen? I gave that one to the championship of the world. White Muhammad Kawi, who yesterday called Evander Holy You got Kawi needed to finish here or a big round? He's got to drop him at least. He didn't believe it. Um, he was just trying to psych him out. He was not able to do that. He has not been able to do that. On my scorecard, Evander Holyfield is ahead by five points. And yeah, if he knocks him down and be an even fight, Holyfield's ahead by a round. Yeah, definitely. Jimmy, we can't wait for more stories on Friday or more truths and uh, events because they're definitely not stories, as you know. And everybody looks forward to them, and, uh, as well as I do. Whether I've heard some of them or not, I like to hear them repeatedly. So... I think what we're going to do Friday, Jim, we'll, we'll talk about it. Maybe we'll do a shorter show, but maybe we'll have a qu question and answer. I'll put it up, maybe a question and answer period. Maybe there's questions people want to ask. But we'll discuss that tomorrow. I'll call you. We'll talk about that. I'll ask the chat. You can't tell from his style because he fights the same way all the time. He's trying to knock your head off all the time. I was wrong. You get a chance tomorrow, Jimmy. Tune in. I'm going to share some little cheesy stories. Who oh, cheesy? You know, instead of little Casey, I'll say little cheesy. Maybe I'll piss somebody off out there. He has done them very, very proud. Very proud today. Go ahead, left. Maybe you can left. <laughs> this fucking thing. Does he have any tricks left? White has nothing to be ashamed of either. He has given, I think, everything he has to give. Everybody wishing you well. Yeah, Holyfield up too, Roy. I think Timmy's got it pretty similar, saying that Dwight needs a finish here. He hasn't given enough to beat this young challenger. This young challenger. Imagine. Now we're approaching the final minute of the 15th and final round, but there was a stoppage to wipe off the corners. That time, Cowie looked at See? the referee and... 
Timmy, you got to straighten that out. He keeps saying, bring the provolone. He's not stopping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Look at Chloe! Wow, he's a beast. Unbelievable. Mm. Did he drop him? They called it a slip? Yeah. Oh, I'd love to rewind that. That would have made it a 10 round, 10 8 round, no? Yeah. I like that, Francis. That's awesome, Jimmy. Let's stick around. I want to see what the decision do. Are they going to give us the points? You think, or are they going to uh, just announce win or loser? Um, I think yeah, this should be points. This is. Let's, uh, look, let's stick around before we flip over to the other thumbnail for the. Remember, folks, we got a double header tonight. Right after this, we're going to go to Holyfield Tyson one. We're doing two tonight. Barbara, if you're watching, we love your husband. Um, I'm trying to sign him to a two-year extension. For Friday nights, he's playing hardball with us. But uh, I think deep down inside, he's going to sign the extension. He's like Juan Soto to the Yankees. We got to sign him to the extension. Well, Jimmy, everybody loves you, bud. Wish you a happy Easter. Great fight. War. What a fight. He looks real good, Soto. Joe Town, what did you have? Your hair looks total looks good. Joe Town, how'd you have that, Joe Town? Dave, what'd you have, Dave? Certainly the experts sitting at ringside here seem to think so. Or maybe did the champion hold on, Dwight Muhammad Cowie, for the WBA junior heavyweight title. Yeah. His eyes puppy. He looks a little dazed. Certainly he looks like the beaten man in the ring right now. Curious how everybody in the chat saw it. Yeah, that shot below the belt. They took a point. Who got his second win, I believe, in the 11th or 12th round. Cowie just dropped, stuttered on his feet, and then roared right back at Holyfield. Chilltown says that point deduction for the low blow winds up being the difference in the fight. I guess we're going to hear that now. Terrell Biggs, remember that name? Woo. Blast from the past. Mark Breland. Terrell. Sweet P, one of the greatest. Have your attention, please. We have a majority decision. Judge Letterman scores the fight 144 140, Holyfield. Judge, Judge Volkman scores the fight 143 141, Cowie. Quintana scores the fight 147-138 for the winner and new junior 147-138. 140, 147, 138. Yeah. Alright. Well, before we get on to um, the next one, I'd like to um, get any thoughts before we move on to the next Holyfield Tyson one. We're going to have to find the thumbnail, guys, for everybody that's in the chat for the next fight. Unfortunately, StreamYard just says, well, let me go straight on forge through it. You'll see that there's, there's a double thumbnail for two fights tonight. Jump right in when we close out here. Jump right into the chat. I want to ask you guys. Did you guys think um, that fight was scored properly? I did have Holyfield winning um, very close. I wouldn't have went nuts if it went the other way either. I'll be, I'm being honest. I don't want to hedge and sit on a fence, but there's a difference between a close fight and a robbery. You know, I believe that was uh, a tight fight. Timmy, you're the fight guy. What do you say? No, I, listen, 
it's tremendous performance by Holyfield. He's a young fighter, 15 rounds, first time. Totally. I thought he did a tremendous job in that fight. I mean, you can't complain even if the fight was a draw. Absolutely. He, both guys never stopped fighting the whole time, and, you know, that's what you want. Absolutely. All right, well, I say – um if that's all we got on this one, if anybody has anything they want to say to close out this one, let's do what nobody else does, Timmy. Let's go for another one. What do you say? All right, all right we're going to have to go find the other thumbnail. Give me about five minutes to set it up, maybe less, and we get rolling. All right? So we're going to close this stream out and go right into the next one. You'll okay. see um, Holyfield Tyson 1. All right, guys? I'll see you guys in a few. Hope to see everybody there. If you can remember, give us a thumbs up. I know our crew always does. And share it with anybody as we close to the 500 number. Here we go. Let's go. But you know what? Just because we're going to a new fight, Timmy, I say we still send it out the way we like to send it out. Killer B, still living. Even my pops told me, told me how to shoot when I was seven. I used to watch shots crack.